morning guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Dave Outdoors and today we are in a yet again Church Stretton. Once again we're uh, a 12 mile hike I think we've put it down to today and then we're going to go via the pub but I'm only going to have a coke this time uh, and we'll continue the journey back so we've parked the car just at the back here at Plush Hill. So yeah come along, come and join us, let's have it. All right so We've walked about two miles already. Uh, it's been some lovely scenery so far. So we're just coming over part of the Longmin now where we drop down into Rattling Hope. So where we're actually hiking to now is we're trying to make our way down to the Bridges Public House. Where, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have a Coke after last weekend's fiasco, if you, uh, if you watch that video. <sighs> Wasn't my fault. It was Salopian Bivyman. He, uh, he kept on piling the pints in front of me and you know, You've got to rehydrate, haven't you? Let's go. Okay, so there's going to be two parts to this video, so my next video that will be coming out after this one will be our camp up Care Caradoc, where stay tuned, Salopian Bivyman and the Shropshire Lad receive a present from Gay Dave Outdoors. Christ, did I just say Gay Outdoors? I'm going to have to cut that Dave Outdoors. So yeah, stay tuned, see what I got them. They're going to look a couple of pompous burks. <laughs> But again, I bought myself one as well, so uh, no, they won't look pompous books, they'll look, um, we'll look like a team. All right, so we've just come down this little, uh, little track now, and we've just hit this little crossing. Nice little, uh, nice little area around here. Okay, so we're going to be heading over in that direction now with the gents and the pub is about 20 minutes away where I'm going to have a Coke and a bag of crisps. We'll see. Anyway, so Gordon's trying out his new GoPro Hero 7 Hyper Smooth. Non-functioning. This way. GoPro Hero 4 is Hyper Smooth as well, just when it's on a tripod. Okay, so we've come a little bit further now. So we're actually on this little, uh, this track that runs alongside this stream. And if I spin you around, just over this little mound and part of this field here is the, uh, the Brow Farm Hill campsite. Some people you can't just take anywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that in an outtake. Of full. <laughs> but we're heading off up beyond over yonder later on. So yeah, we've got still a few more miles to do. We're not even halfway yet, but we're, we're almost there. But yeah, lovely little stream down here. Shout out to my boy Offer. Oh, 
will be boring another coffee, please. Just what coffee is that, mate? Ooh. White, black, latte, cappuccino. Just the one. White, black. Okay, so we've just left the Bridges pub now. I must admit, I feel a lot better than what I did a couple of videos ago. Only had the one pint. Uh, I had a latte as well. Changed man. Reformed, reformed channel for those of you that give the thumbs down on that last uh, couple of videos. So the majority of this now is going to be uphill back onto the top of the long mind where we're going to tap out the trig point up on pole bank. Well, we might. Let's go. And so, we've broke the back of that hill for the time being. So we're just on our way now up to Pole Bank, which is at the top of the mound up there where there's a trig point and we shall tap out. And then from there, we've got another four mile to do back to the car. And that's the hike complete. So that's 12 miles done then, with uh, only one pint done in the pub. Quite proud of myself actually. Right, bringing up the top for some views. Okay, so as promised, instead of bring you back, we're at the top of Pole Bank, and here we are. I'll give you a full 360 view of what we've got. Absolute stunning up here. Quite windy though. <clears throat> so you'll be able to see down in the the bushes just down there. That's where me and a Shropshire lad were the other week when we did our wild camp. Uh, that was quite good as well that was so yeah there's the trig point for pole bank as well <clears throat> and then just on the top of this other thing here it's basically just a direction of where uh, all your hills etc and we're heading back over in that direction let's go All right, so we've moved on a little bit more now. We, uh, we're we not far from the car. I'd probably say about another mile, half a mile, something like that. So the car is just the other side of this mound down here. And that's home for tonight, which will be in the next video if you're following on. Care Caradoc. So you'll remember me and a Shropshire lad up there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we, we was just a hike that day. Uh, but tonight we've actually uh, come out on a nice hike. And yeah, we're going to... Uh, see what Caradoc brings tonight I think it could be quite windy up there tonight because the winds picking up now but it's nice and fresh see you back at the car right that's it now we're back at the car that has been an absolute corker of a hike absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it uh, so we've had some good company and it's been really good so if you've managed to stay with us on the video thank you ever so much and hope you enjoyed and so what we're doing now is we're actually going to park over there the other side of that hill because that's where we're doing our hike and our wild camp tonight but that's going to be in the next video that will follow this so thank you ever so much for watching and we'll see you on another adventure with me there we go of course take care man.